Finally, J-Rock has come back to you too. Oh, what is happening in 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 with the millions <laughs> and millions of J-Rock's fans from all over the world. You are here with J-Rock, and J-Rock hadn't made a video in a minute, and in, in, in the meantime, in between time, J-Rock got some heartbreaking news. That heartbreaking news was that the world had lost a great actor, performer, entertainer, Overall, great dude. Chat with both. Died at the age of 43. Apparently, over the past four years, he had been battling with colon cancer. Gerard didn't know that, considering how over the last few years he's given us some of the most electrifying movies that the world has ever seen. Captain America Civil War, then Avengers Infinity War, then Endgame. Let's not forget Jackie Robinson, James Brown, good old 42. It was heartbreaking because it just all of a sudden popped up on social media out of nowhere. No one knew that he was battling colon cancer. You wouldn't have thunk it considering the fact that he was still doing what he loved, putting out movies, he was even on uh, Saturday Night Live, he and Keenan when they had that Jeopardy show that was hilarious, and uh, he was just recently in the movies I saw on Netflix, Spike Lee's joint show, The Five Bloods, that was, a, that was a good movie, to now hear that he had passed away, considering the fact that Recently, there was a this photo of him that had popped up over so over social media, and people were wondering, like, what the hell is wrong with Chad? Like, bro, man, don't look. He don't. He don't look good. He don't look great. Some people had, you know, their own thoughts it's for a movie or you know, whatever. Some people thought, oh, bro, man, just down on his luck. What's up, bro, man? Just had all these movies, Black Panther. You know, how's he? But you never know what somebody's truly going through. You never know. I had a uh, had a past to say that one time that be careful about complaining about your situation because if you were to go and to put write down your problem on a sheet of paper and you were to ball it up and put it in a in a basket and everybody in your church did the same thing and you went up there and randomly grabbed out somebody else's problem and now their problem would be your problem. You'd probably be going around searching to try to find out who has your problem so you can get your problem back. Because maybe it wasn't as bad as you thought. And you just don't know what people are going through. So I always encourage people to try to be kind, folks. Be patient, understanding. Don't take everything personally because trust me when I tell you everything ain't about you. The day that I realized that the earth does not revolve around me was one of the most refreshing and reinvigorating days of my life. When I realized I was not the center of everyone's universe and everybody didn't do what they did because of me, I was so relieved because now I realize I do not want that kind of pressure to have to live up to everybody's expectation of what they think you should and shouldn't do. And you trying to live up to it as best as you possibly can. That is a burden you can't carry. So always be nice, understanding. And don't take everything personal. Just because some people are being mean. Some people are just mean-spirited. That's just who they are. They treat everybody that way. So don't take it personal. But, with that being said, this morning, it came across my YouTube uh, feed. This, from good old Hishi. And it was how the Black Panther should have ended. So I figured, since I didn't make a video about his passing, I would go back and check this video out. 
even though it's a few years old, and how Black Panther should have ended and play tribute to the one and only Chat with Bozeman. Wakanda forever. Foda? Foda, are you there? Simba. Wait, no, not Simba. Who are you? My name is T'Challa. I am the new king of Wakanda and the Black Panther. I am looking for my father and the ancestor of Ooh, you're a panther. Sorry, this is the lion section. The panther section is right over there. <laughs> They are shooting at us. Luckily, our car is bulletproof. Yes. Now I climb out into the open to attack. You're going to what? Okay, why? Bla is getting away, and we'll begin another car chase. Sports of Alexis. Don't be silly, brother. Use the car disabling devices, you dummy. All right. I, I forgot we have those. Yes! Black Panther! This will give you the power of the Black Panther. Thank, it's actually just poison. <laughs> right? Like okay? You not check what you put in your body. Wakanda forever. Captain America, uh, we are having a disagreement. What are you doing here? I was just coming by to see how Bucky's Jesus costume was going. We are a little busy at the moment. Well, do you need any help? Go away! Okay, guys, now's apparently not a good time. Let's just come back later. Wow. Oh, no. You have saved my life but also killed your brother who was a traitor to Wakanda. Yes, we will speak nothing of this. What about the boy? We should leave him. I don't think that's a good idea. We should take him with us. Yeah, I think if I grew up here, I'd have turned out a whole lot different. We would not let the mistakes of our fathers define who we are. Together, we will make things right. What you mean? I start a violent revolution? No, cousin, I did not mean that. No trip, I'm just playing. <laughs> Let's just start by giving people the tools to better their lives. Yes, we can build a school right over there. We can provide medical and technological advancements over there. Educate the masses, improve our way of life, and get these two a cafe. Oh, thank God. Oh my gosh, you can afford a cafe, you... Oh, this cafe is nice. It's like nothing ever happened. Yeah, apparently vibranium just... Fixes everything. Yes, it does. It is really quite convenient and seemingly capable of fixing anything. Would you like some? No thanks, Chad, man. I'm good. Because I'm Batman. Besides, something tells me you're going to need that vibranium more than us. Why is that? Hear me and rejoice. Mercy is upon you. Just a feeling. j says this, good job by Hishi. I hadn't seen that one yet. Um, and I figured it'd be Al Popo considering the fact that uh, Mr. Bozeman has passed on. And that was hilarious. That was funny as hell. j appreciates the humor and the hard work that you guys do uh, over at Hishi. Keep up the great work. Can't wait to see the next one. Um... I'm pretty sure it'll probably be the one about the new mutants. Uh, so I look forward to it. I'm going to predict it right now. It's going to be the new mutant one. Post your comments down below and let J-Rock know what you thought of his reaction to this video. No rhyme intended on that line. And if you enjoy the Great One's reaction, hit that like button, subscribe, and share. Mamba and GG and Wakanda forever. If you smell allow what J Rock is.
Look! Okay. 